Let's talk about jujitsu versus wrestling. Betty Potter bought some If you watch content surrounding grappling, then you've likely seen your fair share of BJJ versus wrestling content. Sometimes it shows a jujitsu practitioner that only has a year's worth of experience beating a elite level wrestler. And sometimes they show elite level wrestlers beating high level BJJ practitioners. Most of these types of content are, are typically centered around a submission grappling rule set. So I mean, they favor the jiu-jitsu athlete. As someone who grew up my entire life wrestling and someone who's trained jiu-jitsu for a little more than half a decade, which is just a more sophisticated way of saying more than five years, I've started to identify some similarities and differences between the two sports. Let's start off with the similarities. First thing most people will say when they're comparing these two sports is their game. Grappling focused because they are both full contact combat sports based on throws, trips, sweeps, clinch fighting, and ground fighting. Second, cross training. Both of these sports typically involve and promote cross training between different clubs where students can gain knowledge in their respective sport by training with different bodies. Unless, of course, your coach is a proponent of the Fourth Reich and has a tight grip on their academy. These people fucking suck. Third, weight classes. One will also notice that these sports separate competitors by weight class. This is to avoid you going up against the mountain in a grappling match. Fourth, both these sports also have very interesting and diverse sets of people. In grappling, you could train with a super egotistical douchebag that ends up throwing his headgear or punches you after a loss. And then your next opponent can be a super nerd that builds birdhouses with their mom and enjoys walks outside. So what are some differences? Well, one is how you win. In wrestling, the end objective is to pin your opponent's shoulder blades on the mat. Whilst in jiu-jitsu, the goal is to get your opponent in some sort of joint lock or choke, resulting in them tapping. However, if you get pinned or get submitted, there is a similarity in both sets of people going home and crying in the shower. Be a man, cry in the shower. The next difference is intensity. Wrestlers generally have to go 100% the entire match because it's always a battle for top position. While in Jiu Jitsu, practitioners will double guard pull and do some sort of half ass butt scoot towards each other. Next, let's talk about cardio. Typically, wrestlers have much better cardio because they have to go so intense the entire duration of the match. While Jiu Jitsu uh, folks can just kind of sit there, play, rest, pull close guard and, and wait for five minutes. However, for some reason, I, I would consider jujitsu to be a little bit more technical, meaning you can be less athletic, you can drink beer every single day and still compete well at a high level in jujitsu. That's all I add, folks. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe or else this thing will eat you.